My name is Will Rankin. I'm a life science major and I'm a first E on the Army Swim and Dive team. Combat Dive or Combat Dive Qualification Course. It's a six week training program in Key West, Florida run by the Special Forces Underwater Operations Center. Um, essentially, um, they train you on infiltration tactics, closed circuit diving and open circuit diving and things related to diving in that way. When I found out I was selected, I was very excited. You know, there's a 16 week train up, so it's a very long process. But, but then again, there's a lot of unknowns. So I think I was, I was talking to the upperclassmen a lot, trying to learn from their experiences and trying to anticipate some of the events coming up. The school itself was impressive to get through, but the lead up to it, it was additional trainings um, several nights a week. So he would go from morning practice to a full day of school um, to afternoon practice and then stay after the, in the pool and, and do more work with the combat dive. But there was a lot to it and it was long, long hours. I mean, sometimes he would not leave the pool till 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. And, and then being able to continue to do that while swimming at a high level and then obviously the academics, he's one of the top students here. And it's the culmination of doing all that at once, which is what is so impressive with him. Down at CDQC, they would usually begin pretty early, around 4.30 we'd get up. We did a lot of running down there, so maybe a couple mile run, finish with like a, some more conditioning, and then oftentimes we do some breath holding work, especially towards the beginning of the school, to get comfortable in the water. And then as we got along, usually there'd be some classroom time. We'd maybe do a dive in the morning or two dives in the morning, go again to the classroom, and then maybe do some dives in the afternoon or at night, or additional skill work. During the first few weeks, it's mostly it's open circuit. So that's with your more conventional twin 80 system where you have what you would expect to see when you're diving. And then you transition over to the closed circuit, which you use a rebreather. So a little bit different system that they dive on. So with that, you're doing more navigation. You're learning basic tactics, whether that's infiltration or exfiltration, how to navigate underwater, both subsurface and above surface if you're using, using boats. I think the hardest part about dive school is always remembering to, you know, put your dive buddy before yourself. Even when you are when you are in those like really stressful situations, having I mean that open mindedness to remember that it's, it's not just you under the water, and that you need to keep an eye out for everyone else. And that's really your priority is making sure everyone's diving safely. With the combat dive school, will it just one more layer of something that he takes on? that is not easy. And then I think in, with most pe people's lives, it would be enough just to do that, but he's doing that on top of swimming and academics and all the other things that he's doing at a high level. I think the most rewarding part of CDQC was just going through an extremely challenging like set of circumstances with a bunch of people I really enjoy being around. So I think that you end up getting really close with those people. And I think there's something to be said about, you know, doing something very challenging and making it to the end of it. And I mean, the process itself was very long and it took a long time to get there. And it's rewarding to see all that hard work pay off.